Nope. Hmm, could do a more convoys, really. Damn it. I just hope about them being at war with Russia for no reason, and the war is not progressing in any shape or form. I hope for that should increase the descent of both sides. It will stop any alliance between them. So it's very interesting. We're definitely in a East versus West situa uh, situation. Situation. Situation, basically. That's interesting. Hmm. There we go. Yeah, our transport capacity is crucial as well. The reason why it was taking so long for our forces to redeploy to uh, different areas of the country was due to that. Okay. 1936, holy shit. Well, I mean, if we have the blueprint, it should go much faster. Right, yeah. Stop stealing this shit. I don't want to join the Alliance, because if I joined the Alliance, I would give them all my uh, blueprints, and I don't want to. I mean, I can definitely turn that option off, of course. But, meh. It's to gone. There we go, that's another armor completed. Obviously we need to put in the uh, Haze Cube. It's the organization that we need to increase, really. Okay, how many men do the French have? Well, we'll have a look how many in the British have first. 101 infantry divisions. 92. 200. Fucking hell. Yeah, it's definitely the French row. <laughs> Beefy. Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, it's something, you know? <laughs> hmm. How many men do we have? Um, God damn it. Let's see. Loot history. Land battles. What is the last battle to have been for our partisans? Interesting. Well, that was fought with us. Let's take a look at the losses then. <laughs> the part is 
chance of taking a lot of losses. <laughs> Hmm. Oh, well, this is cool. This tells us the comparison of army equipment. Uh, we have like seven and a half thousand more. Jeez. We have <laughs> we have tanks. They don't. We are lacking a uh, force in the navy, really. So we have 74 units and so far. Some way behind the French. No! Off, mate! We have a lot of uh, field marshals, don't we? Ah! Here we go! <laughs> Oh uh, dear. Hmm. Let us unite the nation. Did I deploy them both? Why did I send them? Ah, yes. Okay. Oh my god. Oh. Right, orders will uh, upgrade for now. Or not. So strange. There's going to be a lot of noises. Ah, fuck it. We should be fine. Okay. Is that 11%? Holy shit. Oh, let's go for this. Germany has declared a war on Poland in 1928. Right, we're going to invest in some projects just to lower this. We're going to enact general mobilization. Yep. There we go. Ha, oh, my. I'm so happy, guys. We're definitely not facing anybody else, are we? Just Poland, thank God for that. I was gonna cry if it was gonna be like old man. Right. Let's see. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, yeah. They do have better infantry than we do. There's a little bit of Poland here. There we go. This is Revenge Poland. We are destroying them. There we go. 
So with this, we're going to extend our lands. We're going to be beautiful. We have defeat. Oh, is it because... Okay. That was my fault. You'll be there soon. There we go. I imagine it's the tanks that's really helping us. And we're obviously upgrading our men. There we go. Yeah, I think we're going to do well in this game. Excellent. There we go. This has been a very short war. We can definitely bring down our uh, descent. There we go. I mean, this is all giving our men experience as well. <laughs> yeah, our supply efficiency is really good. Just this then. There we go. Goodbye, Poland. <laughs> Good man feels good. Feels so good and be bad. Do no 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 like restoration project. Maybe we should tell you Czechoslovakia as well. Oh, we are going to have everything we need. Okay, now that we can do that, we need to start working on... Uh, what's going to lower this? Um, interventionism, probably will. Hmm.
Okay, we'll start going for interventionism. And again. Hmm. Hawk lobby then. Okay, dope. Ah, oh, look, we can deploy everywhere now. And we even have this. So there will be rebellions, but we'll deal with them. There we go. I'm sorry, Czechoslovakia. You have been... Uh, <laughs> I was going to say, you have uh, the choice of joining the Reich, but you don't. You have no choice. You will be annexed. Right, so there's only three places that we need to take. That's good to know. Okay. What sort of resistance will we face from the Czechoslovakians? I doubt much, if anything. Oh dear. Yeah. We'll force them back. There we go. Oh, there's a lot. Industries created, brilliant. Goodbye, and welcome to the Reich. Now that's in big, juicy square Germany. Ha, ah, brilliant. There we go. So we'll end mobilization. There we go. And with that, we have uh, demonstrated that the Reich is no mere regional power. We are ascendant. We will grow. We will rise. So we'll have armies in the old capitals. Yeah, so it's better than that. Uh, what I'll have to do is I'll have to build a small force or something of very mobile, uh, mobile troops. Probably will help us. Okay, got to very fast. Wait for the troops to deploy. And we'll work on getting this to send down. There we go. Yep. Troops are being upgraded. Oh, hello there. Hmm. 
There we go. Whoops. Brilliant. Oh, yes. Technology. Tech, tech, technology. Mm, mm, mm. Na, 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 mm. <laughs> That's awful. <laughs> I have no musical ability at all. I'm terrible at it. I'm not creative like that. Sucks. Okay. This is brilliant, though. We we can we can take all of this land, and they, they won't do anything really about it for quite some time. Ah, uh, feels good though to have a united Germany. Will I just have to annex Lithuania? Oh, they only have one place, that's fine. Yeah, we'll focus on getting our forces upgraded then. Convoy trains. Uh, construction will be very nice. Ah, there we go. There we go. Spearhead. I mean, these doctrines are very far ahead of the time, but why not? Military covers. I don't even need them to be up to scratch. Or fully mobilized, to be honest. Yeah. Come on, June Ape. Interesting. So we just need this then. No? Hmm. I'll send another army. My god. Okay, that's annoying. Hmm. I probably should put more men on this. Oh well. Hello there! I should split these armies in half, but uh... Well, they weren't just a cakewalk. They did manage to put some resistance up. But the forms have been annoying, but well. There we go.
There we go. That's a lot of upgrades being done. And you're our next. There we go. Uh, can't remember which was your capital now. Okay, do. Oh yeah, we need to upgrade our infantry. Interesting. Where are these? Where's the air support coming from? Hmm. Are they giving them supplies? These are French. What are they doing? I guess they just see them as enemies. Interesting. Right here. The Bismarck class. Yeah, what I'll probably do is just create some uh, garrisons. There we go. Well, actually, we don't need these men. Oops. We don't need these men over here. There we go. Let's take a little bit. Yeah, so you can clearly see where German infrastructure is. Whoops. Oh, 
There we go. So we've managed to enlarge Germany without being in any significant war. They are still fighting, which is very interesting. How many men do the Russians have? Eighty divisions. <laughs> Just look at that. Right. So we can bring our descent down fairly easily then with the amount of cash that we have. There we go. Once it hits the uh, zero mark, we'll have no problems. Okay. We're now in 1930. There we go. Yeah, we're far so we've far surpassed France in terms of capacity. Once we have our men uh, fully upgraded, then we can definitely just focus on increasing the size of our military. Hmm. Ah. Notice we have uh, new guys. Topic research. Ah, screw it. Might as well start it. May as well have the infrastructure in place. Danzig. There we go. There we go, Hawk Lobby. Ooh, actually. Ah. Right, yeah, I was kind of excited, but yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Welcome to Germany, Danzig. I mean, all this work on our infrastructure is going to be fantastic. I love the noise of the upgrades. Bloody hell. Yeah, once we get our policies in order, we'll be able to declare war and we'll not have the problem of uh, massive descent. Hmm. 
There we go. Yeah. Notice how, how this has come down significantly. Very significantly, to be honest. I'm going to keep working on the tanks, to be honest. I mean, it's going to be a massive advantage. Absolutely huge advantage over our enemies if we have much better tanks. It makes our units hit shit tons harder and they, oh, they take less damage. How about you fuck off, mate? I mean, this armor here, see how it's significantly better? Yeah, with the tanks, they're more soft attack, they're more, yeah, they have a lot more things. Glad that Danzig has been returned to the motherland. To the fatherland, sorry. There we go. I mean, they've been at war for years now. I'd expand into Ukraine, but I hate the way it bit the borders look. So we'll wait. I mean, when it comes to it, we'd probably be able to defeat and annex Russia. It would be a colossal pain in the ass to keep, though. Mostly for the fact of rebellions everywhere. Yeah. Oh well. We just need some garrisons, really. There we go. So once this is down, we'll see this change. There we go. Spearhead doctrine. Armor. Interested. Oh, that would allow us to make armor divisions. Oh my god, I want that. I do apologise for the upgrade sounds, I imagine it's probably getting a little bit annoying now. It's just like music to my ears, to be honest. Okay. How many obsolete divisions? Hmm. Right, when can we affect our policy? 1932. Still at war. I don't know what they're doing, so they've had so many years. Oops.
Let's see. Yeah, I guess I'll just uh, make lots of garrison units. They won't move. There we go. Okay. Well... Guys, uh, tell me what you think of this, uh, well, well, let me know what you think of this series so far, and, uh, let me know what you think we should probably do, I mean, we have the world at our feet, we could even join the Entente, I, I don't know, we'll see, the Yang, the Ying, China, hmm. yeah, so, let me know, guys, if you've enjoyed the episode, well, this session so far, I don't know what episode number this will be, probably somewhere, I don't know, <laughs> I don't even actually know. Something, something in the future, something, something dark side. So let me know what you think, guys, and um, until next time, this has been the Thousand Year Old Ike, and remember, if you like this, you can go ahead, you can subscribe, you can you can tell your friends, oh, Darkest Star is a fantastic game, I want people to find out about this game. And until next time, this has been me, you have been you, and goodbye my friends.